Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I love doing videos like this during the year, kind of mix it up with the trading content, throw in a few packs for you guys. And this is a question that a lot of people have and a lot of people wanna know, which of these SBC upgrade packs are the best. So today we're going to be looking at two different types of packs. We're going to be looking at the 81 to 87 upgrade and the 82 plus rated guaranteed upgrade. Now you're thinking, why are you comparing these two packs? Well, I want to, they're actually the closest uh, in, in terms of price and you're getting different, different things from these packs um, in terms of what you could get on the higher rated end. Of course, in 81 to 87, you're restricted to that, that range. Um, but um, I'm basically looking at this in the stance of, will you be able to craft some of these SBCs and use these SBCs to craft cards, uh, to do icon SBCs, to do team of the week upgrades and stuff like that? Because, uh, the, the best of team of the week is going out of packs very soon, but the, uh, team of the week upgrades and the icon SBCs are still out for a couple more days. So we're going to take a look. We have 20 of the 81 to 87s and 20 of the 82 plus. So I'm going to go through the, the 81 to 87s first and then go through the um, the 82 plus at the end or the second set of packs. I'm going to go through those. So bear in mind that I know these 81 to 87s are a lot cheaper, but we're looking for the good value in terms of these packs. Oh boy, do we have a lot of gold rares in here? Oh, we have to quick sell already. We have to quick sell the first card that we packed today. That is unfortunate. But I'm hoping to get, you know, you can get some solid guys from these 81 to 87s. I mean, if you get an 83, 84, or 85, it is a good value from that pack. Here we go. First pack is a board. Our second 81 to 87, it's a Spanish center mid. It is Iniesta. All right, so that's an 83 red card, good for SBCs. That's a W um, because basically this SBC right now on Footbin says that it costs around 2.9K. So we basically just got our money back and he probably didn't even spend 2.9K to do this SBC from scratch because you can just use bronzes from your club and that will reduce uh, the price of this SBC a lot. Maybe you have to go out and buy five non-rare golds. Uh, Rafinha, 81 rated, not the best, but not the worst. I'm really excited for the 82 plus because those give you the opportunity to um, get somebody that is higher than 87 rated, not that it's really guaranteed at all, um, but they did, they do give you that high opportunity, but again, we're just here to compare these packs today because the 81 to 87s are a considerable amount cheaper than the 82 plus, but, um, they are still, we're testing to see if they're good for crafting basically. So we've gotten three 81s and 183 out of our first few packs, which I would say is not ideal, man. We're getting a lot of dupes as well. A lot of duplicates on this account. Shout out to one of my good friends, John, for whipping up these packs for us today. Really appreciate him and the work that he is helping me out with. Uh, this is pack number five. It is not a board. This is uh, this is a bit unfortunate, man. I'm, I'm probably going to skip some of the shorter ones. If it's not a board, I'm probably going to skip it. But we're just kind of testing for good value here today. That's the real big test is are these SBCs good value? Of course, right now, a lot of people are looking at this 81 to 87 SBC and they're thinking this has an opportunity to be good value. It is a board. It is uh, Dutch center back. Delict? Yo, let's freaking go. 85 rated from the 81 to 87. That's not bad. All right, so we've opened like what, seven packs? We've gotten an 83 and an 85, but that's uh, that's like a, uh, he's probably 10K, right? 10 or 12K? I don't know what his price is at, uh, exactly off the top of my head. Um, but that's an 85 rated card. Delict as well. That's going to be a good link for SBCs, and he's actually usable if you wanted to. Let's look at his card price, 10,000 coins right on the head. So that's a 10K card right there. And a the man, uh, this this pack was worth like two, two and a half thousand coins at the most. So that's a dub for that pack pull right there. But it looks like so far, you're gonna get a few 81s and you might get that board drop or that higher rated player out of these 81 to 87. So, so far, you know, if we had those 81s, um, basically, if you think of it this way, if we do 11 of the 81 to 87s and you're able to do a team of the week upgrade, I would consider that being worth it. That's how I feel about that. That would be basically like worth it. Pretty good for crafting. We're getting a lot of 81s though. That's kind of the downfall to these packs. The 81s are just so common. So if you guys have had good luck with these packs, let me know in the comments down below. I really want to know if, if they've been good for you. But I also just kind of want to do this to show you guys 
uh, which pack is going to be better for the crafting and for the grinding. Um, we have another board here. It is not a walkout, unfortunately. It's going to be Spanish. It's going to be a CDM this time, and it's going to be... Who is this? Ella Remendi, 83 rated. All right, so there's an 83 rated board drop. But basically, again, I'm just doing this for you guys to be able to see if you can compare these two packs together. Is it going to be worth it for you to spend a couple extra thousand coins per pack if you're trying to craft? Or, you know, if you're going to put your gold rares or your gold non-rares into a certain SBC, that's what I'm really trying to compare for you guys today. Back-to-back -to -back boards... Uh, this, the, the luck is heating up a, look at this man, Jaden Sancho, 84 rated. There we go. So we've gotten Delict, we've gotten two 83s and now Jaden Sancho as well. We are well on our way to a, um, to a team of the week pack. If that was kind of our goal, how many packs have we done so far? Ooh, it's a duplicate. Please tell me it's tradable. It is GG. All right. So Sancho is another decently valued card. We're through 10 packs and we've gotten five. We're basically... We've gotten five, no, four. We got an 85, the 84, and then um, the 283. So four out of, the, out of the 10 packs. Oh, this is the UCL. Four out of the 10 packs were boards, though. Is the UCL rare card is Giroud, 82 rated. That's not terrible. Um, throwing a card like that in your club for uh, potential SBCs down the road is a GG. And I'm glad that a lot of these this guy has in his club are tradable. So that helps us out a lot. All right. Eight of these packs to go of the 81 to 87. As of right now, I know we've gotten a lot of 81s, but this has actually been decent value. Here we go again with a board drop. Spanish, center attacking mid this time. PSG, it's going to be Sarabia. There we go, an 83 rated with solid links for SBCs. Boys, the 81s to 83s right now, based on what we've packed so far, I'm going to give them a thumbs up. Uh, because literally, the amount that you're paying per pack is so cheap. And uh, these packs have given out so far, I think, pretty well. Apart from the few at the beginning where there was a lot of 81s. We're back to a, a non-board there. So the luck slowed down for this pack. It's going to be Zahavi. So, of course, you're going to get some 81s. Um, but uh, if you can minimize those like we seem to be doing today, this pack does not look too, too awful, man. I'm going to be honest. How many more of these do we have? Just a few more. All right, 81 to 87s. We're going to close out this round. If we can get, like, two or three more board drops that would be sick all right that has some shine on the pack it is a board down it's spanish again cdm don't be a dupe all right it's a dupe it's a first dupe that's another risk that you run with these um that's a dupe il Mendy. you do run the risk of getting a lot of duplicates with this because a lot of the guys like that il Mendy are gonna pop just because they are the most common guys to to pop but again you probably would have used that card in an sbc already if you're gonna do these and that's what I would recommend if you're doing the 81 to 87s. Do like three or four at a time, maybe five at a time. No more than 10. Uh, because if you're doing 20 like this, you might start to get duplicates like we did there with Ilor Mendy. And uh, that's a good card that we could have used in an SBC. But we had to quick sell it because of uh, already having one untradeable in the club. Five more. Five more 81 to 87s. And I'm actually kind of tempted to do these right now. Uh, because uh, I want to craft an icon pack, man. And I think I'm going to be able to do it through these packs. Another board down. It's Belgium. B9 Golan, please. It is not 9 Golan. It's going to be Company. 83 rated Company. Belgian Link. Um, he's not on City anymore, so it's not as usable for linking in SBCs, but he's still an 83 rated. You will take that. Not terrible. And we get to throw the tradable one onto the transfer list. Four to go. Four 81 to 87 rateds. Left to go. Come on. EA, can I get like one walkout out of these? That would be absolutely sick if we got one walkout. That would be dope. All right. This is a uh, non-board. And it is going to be left mid Guerrero, 81 rated. Still not the worst 81 to get though. Bayern, uh, not Bayern, Dortmund links. Still a solid links. And boom, three left. Three 81 to 87 rated players left to go, or packs rather. Come on, give me another board drop, EA Sports. Please, this is not a board drop. I'm going to skip it to keep things moving. Um, if, especially on the next packs. If we don't get board drops, it's going to be a big L. Muslera. Muslera right there. I lost count of how many board drops we got as well. I think we had six. Six board drops with 185 and 184, which I am pretty happy with. We got that uh, 82 rated Giroud, a couple 82s, and then, of course, a plethora of 81s. 
Pedro, that's not a bad 82 rated card. That's perfect for a team of the week upgrade SBC. Uh, we have it on tradable. Let's throw it up. Got a quick sell. Unfortunate. But yeah, so far, if you're looking to craft the lower rated squads, like an 83 rated squad for a team of the week upgrade, uh, this looks pretty solid for you. I know that the best of team of the week is going out of packs, but if you're somebody who wants to stock maybe a couple of these team of the week upgrades in your club for an upcoming team of the week, because you can save these. You can do these packs, let them sit um, in your store and wait till we get a sick team of the week and open some of them up. You can definitely do that with these packs. So if you're looking to craft them for possibly a cheaper value, maybe you go for some of those 81 to 87s. And if you start hitting those 87s or 86s out of the packs, maybe you can go do an Icon SBC. So that could very help. They're very well help you out with these. All right, now onto the 82 rated plus. So this is only one player. It's going to be 82 plus guaranteed. And these are going to be, we're trying to hit the big boys from these. Uh, and if we don't get boards, I'm skipping them because we should get boards on like 15 out of 20 of these, I would hope, unless the pack luck for these is really bad. Um, so these are going to cost you around six or seven K per SBC, but these obviously give you the possibility of getting that really high rated player, one of the best of team of the weeks, or just somebody above 87. Second pack for the 82 pluses. It is a board down. It is a, is this Trent Alexander Arnold? It is not. It's Kyle Walker. Let's go. 84 rated Kyle Walker. Get in, man. That's a solid pull. See, that's not the type of guy you're going to put in SBC. Let's go, man. How much is he going for in the market? 44,000 coins for Kyle Walker's right back card. That's a GG. That is a GG. Now, of course, you could have got this guy from the 81 to 87 as well, but we will take that. We will take that. Two packs into the 82 plus, and we're getting ourselves 40,000 coins worth of a uh, card right there. So the value on these packs has been helped out a lot by that uh, second pack that we opened up right there. GG. Uh, pack three, Demir Bay. No good. No bueno. At least we have them uh, tradable. We can throw them up. We can throw them up. So, uh, of course, we have two 82s and then the 84 so far. So not the best. We're hoping for like those 85s and 86s. Dang, another 82, man. Are you kidding me? Bro. So three 82s now in uh, two back-to-back -back packs as well. Bauman. Interesting. You know, boys, the, the real move here with these upgrade packs, the move might actually be doing maybe like if you do 10 at a time, do seven of the 81 to 87 and then do like three of the 82 plus if you're going to do 10 packs. That might be the move with these. Kind of mix and match them together. From what I'm seeing so far, that actually might be the move uh, because you'll get some players like that Kyle Walker. You have the possibility of packing big boys from the 82 plus, but you've also got the 81 to 87 that's a lot cheaper that you could still pack some higher rated guys from. This is our second board down. It is not a walkout. It's Argentinian center back. It's going to be Oda Mendy. So 83 rated, a, a nice little green link to our uh, freshly packed pulled Kyle Walker in form, which isn't terrible, or Kyle Walker gold card, which isn't terrible. And this is, uh, we're going to send that to the club. So that's our, that's only our second board though, in six packs. That's only our second board in six packs for the 82 plus. That does not look good yet. That's the, that looks like a board. It is, it is not a walkout though. That's something that we can hope for with these packs is a walkout. This is going to be Kevin Campbell, 83 rated. So that's two boards in a row which is turning up the heat a little bit. We got two 83s in a row with Otamendi and Kevin Campbell. Not terrible, but we still like, we, we hit that, uh, we hit the delict from the 81 to 87s. We got to hit somebody like that on these two, like an 87 or an 88 rated card is really who we need to get from one of these to make it worth it. And that is another non board. So we're going to skip because we're expecting boards on every single one of these packs. Giroud, we already got him champions league. All right, we, we, have a, we have a version we can send to the transfer list still. GG. GG. All right, here we go. 82 rare, uh, 82 plus rare player. Here we go. Another one. Show me the walkout EA Sports. Let me see a walkout. Come on. It is not a walkout again, dude. It is going to be Portuguese. It's going to be CDM, probably William Carvalho, right? 83 rated? Dang. All right, these packs are, uh, they're something, boys. A lot of 83s from these. Uh, and to be honest, you're probably going to get a decent amount of 83s from the other packs as well. 
which makes me think that maybe the 81 to 87 is the move just because of the pure craftability. You can do two of those packs for one of these. So that's another thing to think about as well. Again, it's just hard to judge the cost. You might have just go like judge it on your account as well. Oh, there's a Durasi. We already packed him. That's a bit of a rip. You might just have to judge it on your account as well. As we have 10 packs left, we've only gotten three board downs. Three boards. That's it from these first 10. That is that is an L, man. That is an L. Another non-board. Man, these 82 pluses. It's like 80% of the time you're getting an 82. Dude, that sucks, man. That actually sucks from these. I feel like I had decent luck from the 81 to 87. More luck than I'm having on these 82s at the moment. I know I'm flying through packs, but I gotta get 40 packs open in this video for you dudes, you know? We finally have a board down. It is not a walkout. I just want one walkout EA. Come on, Spanish? Don't be a duplicate. Striker, Real Batiste. Who is this? It is Borja Iglesias. SBC fodder at its finest. But that is a board down. It is an 83. But that should be like the normal from these packs, man. And we've gotten way too many 82s for me to call that normal. I think that is what our fourth board. So we have seven packs to go or eight packs after this one. All right, it's a shine. Let's go. Come on. It's slow. It is not a walkout. EA Sports. What do I have to do for a freaking walkout? It's at least French. Right wing. It's Thalvin. Okay, so that's an 83 rated card again. Again, that should be like the normal for these packs. Maybe we're starting to get the luck rolling a little bit. If we can just hit that 87 or 88 rated card, though, that's what we really need. And I have to quick sell the Thalvin because he is already duplicate, untradeable. Seven packs remaining. Come on, EA Sports. I want to see a walkout from this pack right here. Let's go. Let's go. It is going to be slow. That means it's at least a board. It is a walkout UCL. What are we saying? It's Portuguese. Right mid. It's going to be Pizzy? It's going to be 84 rated Pizzy. All right. All right. It's an 84 rated. It is a Champions League rare card, so that could possibly help down the line, especially as we're approaching uh, match day six, possibly team of the group stage. So that right there can definitely help us out. 84 rated though. We'll take that for the very least. Six packs to go. Again, EA, hit me with that walkout. Hit me with that walkout. It's at least a slow one. Let's go. The pack luck is turning around, baby. It is still just a board. It's going to be Dutch. It's going to be a goalkeeper, probably Sillison from Valencia. 83 rated. 83. Yeah, boys, so you're getting a lot of 83 rateds out of these packs, and that's the tough thing because uh, you can go buy an 83 rated card off the market for around 3,000 coins, maybe even a little bit underneath that for some of the 83s, and this pack right here costs you about 6K. So, of course, you're taking a little bit of a risk by opening this pack to get that higher rated player. We do get a board down here, Brazilian CDM, Fabinho. Yo, 85 rated Fabinho, okay. All right, so you definitely have a chance of getting some of the more big boys out of these packs. Fabinho is 20,000 coins. So basically, a lot of the money this man just spent, he spent, how much was it? It's like five or 6K per pack, and he made 20 of them. We're already up to 60,000 coins of just between Fabinho and from uh, Kyle Walker right there. So that's honestly not bad. Not sure if he's going to use that in the team, um, but uh, that's not a bad card. That is not a bad card. All right, four to go. Can we continue the luck with four to go? Let's go. EA Sports, please. Come on. All right. It's slow. It's going to be a board down at least. It's not a walkout, man. I want one walkout, please. Who is this going to be? Um, Schmeichel. GG. All right. There's an 83 rated. Schmeichel is getting in. 83 rated card. All right. We really turned up the board drops in these last few packs. So I think with the amount of board drops that these packs are going to get, I'm thinking if you did 20 of them, you might get like maybe 12 board drops, and then the rest would be non-boards. We've really turned up our luck here towards the end. Again, another board drop. It's not a walkout. Yay, bro. What do I have to do for a walkout? Is it going to be? Oh my gosh, it's Carvalho again. That's a dupe. That is a duplicate, but it is another 83 that you could chalk down on the board drop list. It could be worth it. If you were trying to craft SBCs, that's the whole point for these packs. So let's see if we can get a walkout in these last two. Come on, EA Sports. You've given us Fabinho. You've given us Kyle Walker. Let's go, big boy. Dude, not even an inform from these packs yet either. Spanish, center mid. Napoli, who's this? Uh, Fab Fabian, 83 rated Fabian. That's a really good S uh, SBC card. 
right there. But still, boys, so many 83s from these packs. And if you're doing the 82 pluses, you're really, really hoping for somebody big from these packs. All right, last one. EA Sports, hands off the controller. Let's see a walkout here, a board drop. Walkout, come on, EA. Yeah, dude, it's not even a board drop. Unbelievable, last pack. They do not end uh, end up giving us something good on the last pack. So, what's the final verdict, boys? If you're really trying to craft these uh, SBCs, if you're really trying to craft your way up to a team of the week or to an icon, I think it might be maybe a mix of them are going to be the best way to go. But in terms of just just straight up value, um, I didn't mean to click on his team, but in just just in terms of straight up value from what we got from these packs today, I'm thinking that the 81 to 87 SBC might be more of the shout just because it's it's half the price of the 82. It's very easy to do this SBC. You could stack 15 or 20 of them very easily, and you should be able to craft packs from that. Now, if you go really far. Uh, if you're if you're talking about icon craft from the core, like you're not spending any coins, you could do bronze pack method, 400 coins per pack, and then sell those sell those bronze cards, which then you can you can buy um, the the gold cards to do the upgrade with, or like rinse them through bronze upgrades and silver upgrades to get the gold upgrades and stuff like that. You know, you can go that route if you really want to, but if you're just looking at one of these two SBCs to try to get some high rated cards from it, to try to get a good look, the 81 to 87, I think would be good for maybe doing like 15 to 20 at a time and then trying to get an SBC out of it, trying to do a team of the week SBC and maybe get a few cards you can throw towards an icon swap or a base icon upgrade. And then this 82 plus, I would use sparingly if you're just trying to hit a big boy card in these last few moments before the best of team of the week cards go out of packs. That's what I have to say about those. But, you know, we got some solid pulls. We got Kyle Walker. We got Fabinho. We got Delict. We got a couple other 84s. So the man should be semi-happy with his SBC fodder. It should help him do a couple Team of the Week packs. Um, but I'm guessing the 82 pluses didn't really pay out for me. There was way too many 83s, not enough 84s and 85s. That's why I think the 87, the 81 to 87, this might be the move for both you, most of you guys that are trying to actually craft the SBCs. If you, if you enjoy, excuse me, boys. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.